A quick reminder, if you're enjoying the videos, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching. So this is the state of Tando's cut now. He scraped that one open again in the mud uh, two days ago. But that's the state of this one now, it's closing up nicely. I put more of that silver stuff on it today. Morning folks. So we've just been waiting for it to dry up a bit. It's the first day after the big rains. Luckily here in Arizona we get dry quickly. So Mark's come over with the tractor and we're gonna grade down and make a kind of a little berm up along the fence line here. And we're gonna grade up at that cow shed so the water can flow easily. We want the water to flow easily down here and we're gonna make like a channel so it flows past the stable block. And then this, the water can flow here into into home pasture so that's the plan for today I'll, I'll catch you guys later so he's just trying to level this out so we get better water flow through here as you can see the standing water here from the rain and then there's that standing water there but there's an ridge there's this like there's berms here and stuff and then there's left this deep deep mud over there so we're trying to get all this level and sorted so the water can flow through here easier. We can make a better pasture. And then we're gonna spread all this good, good like organic stuff and till it into the soil. It's gonna be a beautiful pasture. This has been a very, very good thing that we had the cow manure here and we were spreading all the horse manure as well. Okay, so folks, when we first got here, this soil, this, this, this part of the pasture was like that up there, just dry and lifeless. There was no life in it. So with, with the, the, the manure we've been throwing down and the cow, cow, cow manure that was down here already, and we've just been spreading it and then the rain and stuff like that, I, you, I cannot believe the difference and how amazing this looks. This just looks like anything would grow in here. It's, it's wonderful, absolutely wonderful. And it's got such a nice rich earthly smell to it. Anyway, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna kind of build like a semi kind of berm along this line of soil here and we'll build the berm all the way down there so we'll build the berm all the way down to, to that fence over there and then we're going to make cut a, a, a deeper channel down along the fence line so the water will flow down here like this to the fence line there and then down all the way past the horse box and the stables there and then out to home pasture where we have that that Delani lake all the time right in front of the house because that's the way that we want the water to go eventually and so yep that's that's what we're starting to do today so the idea folks is to have another pasture up there an arena here and then i we want the water to flow down hopefully this will be a grassy channel and the water will flow down this grassy channel here all the way this is going to be the first three stables we're building here on this pad that we've leveled out three stables on there so the pad is to keep the stables dry and then this will be grass back here and the water will flow down all the way down there to home pasture that's 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 the, the goal that's what we're trying to achieve it's a very busy day here we've taken down this old rotten wooden fence and we're stacking it there i think we're just going to rent a dumpster to get rid of all the trash we're starting to accumulate stuff here is 40 years old 50 years old so it needs to go and uh, we get the new wooden fence in here tomorrow so that's the the old wooden fence is gone now we're gonna make this into a parking spot for the Prius over here so we've taken this fence down and I'll show you once the new fence goes up what it looks like but that's that for now so we've got a number of different projects going on at the moment. We have a guy here called Richard. He's putting up the wooden fence for us. Like we said, we're gonna come across here. I'll show you the, the difference now. That's gonna become the carport for the Prius. And then that's the new wooden fence going up there. And uh, there's the old one. Kiara and I have been trimming trees today. We trim by the stables, raking mud, all that kind of stuff. 
and uh, we're getting there. That's a cable we've laid out. So we've got a 200 foot cable and then a 100 foot cable. We're gonna try and run some fans out there for the boys at night just to keep the mosquitoes off them. So we're, we're gonna get those put up soon too. So this is how it looks from the front. Rich came with all the tools, man. All the tools, levelers and everything. And then that's the new fence on there. So what we've decided is after we had to bite the bullet on this one because we had to make it safe for Brody. So uh, we've, we're getting this ready for it and safe for Brody. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do, try and do four panels a month and go all the way down. So uh, that's, that's the plan anyway. We'll see how, how well we do with it. So we've brought the boys onto the front yard. We've just taken the halters off now. I'm gonna let them mow this down a bit for us. And uh, Kiara and I are just keeping watch. We don't want them to step up on the step and go mess with the cars or anything. So we're gonna stand and watch them. And uh, they're just gonna stay here in front, 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 front pasture. So that's horses on the front lawn. That's very nice. I know it doesn't look like a lawn yet. Give us time, folks. Give us, give us time. <laughs> It'll be a lawn soon. What do you think, Kiara? It'll be amazing once we start like putting down soil and everything. And making it good, eh, baby? Yeah. Yes, yes. I wonder if we should start throwing poop down here. All the way. It's a long way, huh? <laughs> it's a long walk to get poop, eh? <laughs> hey, some ranchers. We out front. A lot of grass has grown during the rain. We actually tried to take them out on the road on the verge there and let them eat that down. But that's still a bit soggy, so the front grass was looking a bit better. So we've brought them out into the front yard and taken them off the halters and just letting them eat, at the, eat eat how they want, but keeping an eye on them. I don't want Tando going and trying my front door. <laughs> so as soon as I'd finished the first video, he walked, he marched over here to have a look at what this was. And here comes Bird now. So I'll just be keeping an eye. Steady, Birdie. And then this bloody fart just went for a run. He literally just ran from the tap to here to eat this little bit of grass. This damn horse. Don't know what he was learning at some ranch. So that is the fence finished. That's how we've decided to do it now. Wait, Tondo, you're gonna be in my way, but Come on, move back. Uh, Linz is out here now, while Kiara and I are doing the chores with the horses. She's rolling the magnet over here to pick up all the nails and stuff. And that's what we've done to keep Brody in. Looks very nice, I'm very, very happy. Wow, very happy. That's not a lovely career. Nice job. Okay, so that's the finished product with the fence from the other side, from the house side, where all that wood and stuff is. That's where the Prius is going to be parked. And then the inside looks like that. So Brody's now secure again. Brody's back in. We don't need to worry about him. It looks nice, we really like it. The only thing is now, back there, we've got a dust storm blowing in. So uh, we're about to go in. Okay, so the mosquito saga continues. In an, in an effort to fight them, we bring power with long power cables for now temporarily to the stools. And we're putting up a post. See, there's a post ready for you. Thanks, bud to uh, mount fans. We're gonna mount fans here. We're hoping that the power will be okay. So we're just digging this hole.
Halfway to China. <laughs> Three and a half. Three and a half. Horses should leave it alone. So look at that sky, you guys. Ah, that is so beautiful. And then there's the sunset. So we're just finishing up the work on the fans now. They've been installed. We had to tundle proof them. I'll insert a little video Kiara took of uh, Tundle messing with the fans as soon as they were installed. So this is the little setup we've made. We've put that there because of the rain that's going to come down from the roof. And then we had to put this, <laughs> this wire up here because <laughs> Tundle was straight and he was trying to bite the fan and even when the fan was on. In fact, when the fan was on, he was trying to bite it even more. So yeah, these two guys, man. Bird not so interested, but Tondo very, very curious about the fan. <laughs> oh, there it is. Tondo! Look at that beautiful mane blowing in the breeze. <laughs> Tondo! <laughs> We're going to need to like zip tie it to the... There's Kiara helping Mark. She she was up on the ladder, screwing the the, the, the the bolt into the big pole. She just loves doing this kind of thing. We're so so proud of her. So proud of her. That's good. And then we'll wrap the bottom right here. Okay. And then it should stay pretty watertight once we wrap this. Right here? Yeah, start right here. Okay. So folks, the war on the mosquito continues. Uh, we were out in the pasture about a week ago with Callum. We were taking the horses out and doing stuff with them. And not even a week ago, about four days ago actually. And uh, we were getting eaten alive by mosquitoes and he like went online and he researched. And uh, funny thing was, was I had researched like the next day as well. And I had found these things online and heard a lot of good stories about them online. So Callan had, had already done his research and he, he let me know because I was talking to him about it. And he said, nope, I've already ordered. Don't buy any. They, they're on their way. So they've arrived today. These uh, Spartan mosquito away things and he sent enough for, for the three acres. So I'm going out now to hang these things. I've, I've just put the warm water in, mixed them up, and uh, the lids that, have, that we can hang them with are ready to hang. So I'm gonna go and hang these up now. And I'll catch you guys later. I'll let you guys know how these things work. Apparently it takes about two weeks for you to see an effect. We'll see. So folks, the biggest problem I'm having here on Delani is the lack of trees and height. I need to hang these things six feet up <laughs> in a tree in the shade and we just don't have that kind of facility here. And then this is my, my main problem here. Look, look at these mosquitoes in this grass. Can you see these things flying up? Look at this. Look at, look at the clouds of them just flying up as you go through this grass. Look how long this grass is. So pasture is absolutely amazing but we can't use it that's I this was me this is the path I walked getting here from the top of the pasture you see the path I, I cut in it 
just walking through it, through the long grass, to get to this pole to, to hang the, the mosquito trap. So I've hung them, but my like I said, my problem is shade and height. So I think two are at the correct height and in the shade, and the other two are on the fence. And basically, I've tried to hide like hide them, but they they're going to be in the sun. We'll see how they work. I can't even tell you, folks, how depressing this is to have all this grass, this long grass. It's over knee height. Let me get a higher view for you guys. It's over knee height. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful sight. And just have nothing to eat it. And my boys can't go on it because of the damn mosquitoes. So what I'm finding myself doing at the moment is I'm driving through the neighborhood and I'm seeing people's like goats and cows and sheep and wondering how we could get them all on here so that this doesn't go to waste, so they can eat this. Maybe I can find a dude who wants to make hay and he can have half and I can keep half. Maybe I, I'm gonna go online and look and see if somebody wants to do that. Uh, hopefully somebody's got some haymaking equipment. So this is where I've hung the other one in this car shed. This is one of the better ones. That's up at the correct height and it's in the shade. So hopefully this one really does its job. I don't know if you guys can make out there out at the superstitions. Looks like we've got more rain. Forecasters, 20% chance today. And then apparently we're in for more of the same that we were in for last weekend. So there's more rain, more heavy rain forecast over the weekend. At least we better prepared this time. And then I've hung the other one by my neighbor's tree on the fence there again as well. That's the best we could do on that one. And then I'll show you the other one. And then that's where I've hung the other one. With the old grandfather mesquite himself. Man, that can withstand 70, 70 mile an hour winds. <laughs> that's at the right height and it's in the shade also. So I've got two placed properly and two that we're hoping will just like catch up in the, 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 the dregs, hopefully. Good afternoon, folks. So the war with the mosquitoes continues. Some good friends of mine who've lived in the valley for a long time have suggested this recipe that works for them to get rid of the mosquitoes. So I'll show you guys what we are gonna use. We're gonna use Avon Skin So Soft, white distilled vinegar, citronella, and eucalyptus. eucalyptus oil and we're going to mix all of this in a mixing jug with water and then put it in a spray bottle and use that to spray the boys so i'm actually just going to try that tonight i'm not going to put any any uh bought mosquito product on them and uh i'll spray that on them tonight and we will watch and see what happens and i will let you guys know so the recipe calls for it says take a 32 ounce spray bottle and add one cup of cup of Avon Skin So Soft, two cups of vinegar, one tablespoon of eucalyptus essential oil, three tablespoons of citronella, shake well before use to mix the oil and vinegar as much as possible. So we shall do that. I don't know if I'm gonna have three tablespoons of citronella though. This is, this looks very small for, for three tablespoons, but we'll see. So I can't tell you how <laughs> mosquito spray this smells. I'd just like to give a, a, a shout out to Amy and to Diana. Thank you so much, you guys. We'll be putting this on in a, in a little while. It's, uh, what time is it? 5.15 now. We'll spray this on at about 7.15 just before those little buggers make their entrance. And hopefully this repels them. I can't wait to see how this works. Thanks, you guys. Thank you very much. Okay, folks. So in the battle of the mosquito, the new mosquito spray is on board on both the boys. I must say they smell a lot nicer than with that chemically one that we've been using, the, the, the board product. I just, it, it remains to be seen if they, how they do with it. Um, the other thing that's happening 
is we've got the rain. It looks like there's rain coming from over there. So uh, we are prepared. We've moved our stalls. There's a berm over there to stop the water coming in this side. We've made a wall around bird, bird stable on the other side there. I've got this channel here where the water does fall into Tondo's stall, but it, it falls in here and will run along and out that way to where Mark graded. And uh, keep fingers crossed for us. Hopefully we can keep these boys' stalls dry and the mosquitoes at bay. Oh, and there's the fans. Hang on. It's so hot. Let me stand in front of this fan. Ah, oh yeah, that's lovely. <laughs> Folks, for just an idea of how hot and how humid it is here in Arizona, check out these horses have aligned themselves with the fans and look how they're just standing. They just love standing in front of the fans. It's uh because our heat is vicious guys. Okay folks, so what I can report is the concoction that was suggested to me works really well. Um, as good as the chemical one and the store-bought one. We um, put it on at about, I want to say about 7.30 this evening. And uh, it's the calmest I've seen the boys in ages. They just stood in front of their fans eating, eating out of their hay nets. They were able to finish their dinner, which has been a rarity with the mosquitoes. Um, and it lasted from about 7.30 until 10.30, so three hours. So about the same as the, um, the store-bought one. And then I've just gone out now at, I went out, I, I looked, I looked at, and checked on them at about 10.45 and they were pacing and starting to move around. So I went out and just sprayed them again and uh, it's calmed, calmed right down. The mosquitoes are leaving them alone. So they, they're good for another three hours. So this stuff is really working nicely. And uh, I just need to cost it and stuff like that and make sure that it's cost effective because I'm getting about the same amount of time as I got with the um, the store bought one. So about three hours roughly of, of, of peace time for the horses. And then uh, the some ranch people have also started putting, and Candy, Candy War Bridle have also started putting um, drying washing machine drying pads in their on their horses manes and tails so we'll give that a try tomorrow night we'll get Lindsay and kiara to braid some of those into the boys tomorrow night as well and we'll see how the whether that gives it makes it last four or five hours so that's the mosquito wars continue that's an incredible view of the superstitions wow That's nice. Okay, there's the gas powered weed whacker. I started already. That's everything I've got to do. That's just the front. The back is even worse. I'll catch you later. Okay, that's all done. Just a couple of piles to rake up, and the verge is clean. Have to get the nursery to come and sort out these ruts, though. I won't be able to get in there with a mower when I need to mow it. And then there has to be one of my favorite animals, the Roadrunner. It's the first one I've seen at Delani. I think he must have heard me weed whacking, decided to come pay us a visit. A Roadrunner running across the road. Good morning, folks. The War of the Mosquito continues. I don't know if you guys remembered, but uh, Earlier on, I had said, we're going to try and find someone who can probably come and cut this thing and do hay because the boys can't get in here. We've, Callan's went and got like a, a fly mesh to wear on his face and stuff. The mosquitoes are so bad. We've been being bitten through our clothes and everything. So um, what's going to happen is a guy's going to come and bail it. We've got a guy who's coming to make hay bales for me. He thinks we should get 60 to 70 bales. And... Uh, We'll take it from there. So what we've had to do is take down the electric fence. 
we've pulled all the posts, taken all the fencing down. So it's just one huge pasture now so that they can get in here with the mower. And then we have to open up here because they need 18 feet to get their, their uh, tractor in and stuff like that. So we're going to have to take out a couple more fence posts and stuff like that. So the boys won't be on pasture for a while. They can't go on anyway because of the damn mosquitoes. But uh, I will film that haymaking process for you guys.